And I truly believe this is something that every single person should have, not just the poor. Every single Everybody person, should regardless. Go to the doctor if they're sick and not have to worry about it. Exactly. It's an investment in our people. My wife had cut Colton's hair and he had what would look like two mosquito bumps. And one bump went away and the other one stayed here. And um, we went to the doctor and we, we told him, what is it? He says, it's nothing, don't worry about it. And so um, month after month, this little mosquito bite kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we kept telling the doctor, um, it's getting bigger, can we do some sort of biopsy? And he says, no, 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 we'll just refer you. So we went to plastic surgeon after plastic surgeon. Uh, we went to Silver City to a dermatologist and there he had told us, uh, it might be cancer, the only way to find out is for us to do a biopsy. So we come back to our doctor here in Cruces and we ask him, you know, we were asked if we can get a biopsy. He said, no, no, no. <gasps> so we finally go up to Albuquerque and it was, uh, before that, uh, now Colton had had two bumps. He had one here in his cheek and one in his neck and it was, really, really powerless to hold your son and not be able to do anything about that pain. And so all we were giving him was uh, cough medicine and ibuprofen because that's what the doctor said to give him. So uh, it was about November, we, we head to uh, Albuquerque and we see uh, a plastic surgeon and she is freaking out. She says, you need to go upstairs and talk to this doctor. So we talked to a head and neck surgeon and he goes up there and says, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go order the biopsy, I'm gonna do it myself, because I told him the story. And so, as soon as he cuts into it, he says it's cancer. He says, we gotta get him to press Praetorian, and we gotta get him rolling. And so right there at press, we got him into an MRI, they did the iodine check, and we came back down, it was right after Thanksgiving, in 2010, and uh, that Tuesday, they said, we're ready to start uh, his spinal taps, we're gonna start treatment immediately. During that time, um, we were covered under the CHIP program uh, and they had offered me a full-time position but I did not want to lose my son. So I declined that position and we did what we had to do so he could get his treatment. And so uh, 21 years after my mom's death of cancer, we were done with his treatment and we've moved, moved forward since. And this guy was born on Ash Wednesday. And now we're doing the work and making sure other families don't go through this and we live within our experience as organizers. So people have a better path than what we went through. He's my hero.